Hey friends, Joe here at Reverb, and today we're going to talk about the simplest ways to record your acoustic guitar at home. Before we get into any miking techniques, let's talk about the necessary components that you'll need. First of all, an audio interface. Many options for audio interfaces, we're using today a Focusrite 2i2, and then you will need some recording software. Uh, today we are using Audacity, which can be downloaded for free on a Mac or a PC. Whichever recording software you're using, make sure that you can select your audio interface for your input and output signals. Typically engineers like to use small diaphragm condenser microphones for acoustic guitar to get uh, some good uh, precise detail. Today we're using a Biodynamic MC930, which is a part of a fairly expensive stereo pair, but there are more affordable options of course. Don't let this limit you. You know, use your uh, dynamic microphone or a large diaphragm condenser microphone if you want to. I think one of the biggest takeaways from these videos that we do here is that experimenting and doing your own thing and trying new stuff is arguably just as important as learning the conventional ways. And to add to that point, there are plenty of USB microphones that just go straight into your computer and you can bypass an interface altogether, so that's another option as well. Before we start playing, make sure that when you're using a condenser microphone, they require phantom power which is gonna be the 48 volt button right here. Make sure that's on, make sure that's off before you unplug your condenser microphone. And let's see how this sounds. Now we've got our pieces together, we're plugged in, we've got our recording software going. Let's talk about some different miking techniques to vary the sound with one microphone. You might think that the sound hole is where sound is coming from and you want to capture that. However, a lot of air is getting pushed out of that hole and it's going to create uh, muddiness in the sound. And so you want to avoid that. A good way to start is to point the microphone at the 12th fret and about six inches off of your fretboard. For the sake of experimentation, let's put that microphone in front of the sound hole to find out what happens. So you probably noticed that it sounds probably too muddy and, and uh, probably not a desirable sound. Then again, if you're making an experimental acoustic guitar record, might be something that you're going for. A quick note about mic gain. So uh, when you've plugged into your interface here, make sure that the signal is giving you uh, a yellow or green. If you're in the red, that means it's peaking and you don't want that, so adjust accordingly, bring that mic gain level down a bit. Another idea for mic placement is if you're doing some picking stuff and you want to get that the detail of, of your picking hand, then place the mic still six inches away, but down here pointed at your picking hand. I brought the mic gain uh, level down a little bit here because I'll be playing a little bit more aggressively than I was when I was finger picking. And the last mic placement we're gonna talk about today is back here. Uh, pointed back at your guitar uh, and a little bit behind the bridge. It could uh, deliver a little bit more of a woody and mellow tone. Let's hear it. For those of you who have electronics in your acoustic guitar, another option of course is to bypass the microphone altogether and go direct into your audio interface via a quarter inch cable. If you're looking for that kind of uh, direct in, more upfront tone, it might be a good option for you. Let's check it out.
So going direct in, obviously, uh, you're not going to hear the room like you would with a microphone. Uh, that's where recording software comes in. Add a little reverb to it to sweeten it up if that's what you're looking for. Okay, the last option we're going to talk about is a commonly used technique, uh, and maybe it's the best of both worlds because we're going to blend a mic'd up signal as well as a direct signal, and then we can mix it the way that we'd like to with having both signals going. Uh, let's hear how it sounds. Those are a few simple ways to record your acoustic guitar at home. Uh, give them a try, try other stuff as well. Uh, in the future we're going to be doing more videos like this with more advanced techniques to microphone placements and stuff like that. So stay tuned, thanks for watching on Reverb, and we'll see you guys next time.